under 14 female top one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, top eight. How exciting. We've got Wollongong City there, so, right closest to screen. So we've got Isabel Evans from Wollongong City, Miley Warzik from The Grange, Belle Jackson, Maruchador, Kayla Pride, North Cronulla, Georgia Benson from Woody Alec from North Cronulla. We've also got Scarlett Hoa, Katie Williams, and then Emma Haley there from Coogee. This is your top eight final. This is going to be hard. This is going to be fast, and it is going to be precision. So we've got to be at 90 degrees, toes in the sand, yeah. heels together, and then we've got 12 and a half metres, I just always know that uh, North Cronulla has a great showing in the flags. They had the Rampoli sisters come through, we, who were incredible. And look at the girls. I feel like we always have to be quiet and whisper when the flags are on because I don't want to distract anyone. You don't want to see any breaks. And the whole amphitheatre is quiet now and we're ready for a start. It's because they're in the starter's hands. That is why we have to whisper. be and very interesting to see who's up first. Oh, no. Wow, and look at that. Straight away from the she grain, knew. she knows oh, one she's... break, you are done she's and dusted. devastated. Oh, the poor thing. Oh, I feel for her. And Oh, well done, Grange. You've done an amazing job. You've made it to the top eight in the Australian final. So, so. Miley Warsick there from Grange. And, and it is one of those things where you need to be reactive, but you've got to be that close to that whistle going off that you are going to get that flag because... You know, this is the best of the best in Australia. You cannot give away any little moment. But, yeah, that really doesn't show up that much. But because she was the last one up, she got that little bobble at the start. Check start has done an amazing job. And she immediately knew it, didn't she? Oh, the poor thing. So she will be eighth in our flags final, but we're now down to seven. So there's six flags. The girls will have to spin around and go for one and hopefully end up with one in their hands. Yeah, so this is so important to get past this round, to get into the top six again, because then your name will be in the annals forever. So the girls have done their gardening. They've moved all the sand. Nice flat bottom. We want to compact it down around the arms so that when we're getting the arms under our chest to push up nice and strong, we can turn quick, drive off that back leg, and we're away. Start his hands. Jeez, and they're away nice and quick there. So through the North middle. Cronulla in the middle there, both grabbing one. City of, per City of Wollongong, my apologies. But, oh, it's the girl from Maruchidor who's missed out there. So she will be seventh. Wow, that was fast. It was tough. So, Bill Jackson, she is now gone. So, she's out of the top six. We're now into the point. So, that was really, really good to see her coming through there. And then we're going to be going hard and fast through this one. But you just look through the middle there. She got boxed out there. North Cronulla knew that she was in trouble. So, she's pushed across. Wollongong City just get that shoulder in front. Mm. And yet you kind of maybe think that Bill Jackson made it, should have made that decision to head to that right-hand edge because... You know, sometimes you just get that tunnel vision and it's really hard to get out of it. And not that I know from experience, but from what I've been told, you just have to pick a flag and commit to that flag. So, unfortunately, that little bit of an indecision cost her. So, now we have the boys on the line. We've got our top eight. And I can see a Kujin cap there. And, uh, we'll, yeah, we've got a... Lots of different caps here, so we ge we generally see a lot of different clubs come to the fore when it comes to flags. So it's gonna be we get our start list up, and uh, the starters just checking they're all in line. And uh, I'm scrolling frantically here, G, to bring it up. So we've got the top eight. eight. So we've got Cooper Bird from Coogeon, Lucas, Mar Lucas Martin from Grange, Miller Saisat from Gerringong, Sebastian Duffy from Binning Up, South Maroubra's Chris Condolios. Jarvis Chubb from Ruchidor, Jai Texeria from Kujin, oh sorry, from Alex, and Quinn Evans from Coffs. And they're away. Wow, that was speedy. But through the middle there, unfortunately, we've missed out here. So that's a very unusual cap I haven't seen before. I'm going to call that Sebastian Duffy there from Binning Up. Yeah, I think it must be. Because I haven't seen that cap before, and I love that. It's a great coloured cap there with the orange and blue. So well done to you. You were eighth in the Australian final, so the boys will head back around and get their they get their thoughts composed and be back on the line after the women. But here's the replay. They're all way quick. They get their heads down to their chins and they've got that technique to perfection. They've done a lot of these turns. And I'll tell you what, the back end there, Grange just walking into one. Sometimes the uh, fortune of being in the right place at the right time means you can get through that next round and anything can happen. So this is on errors, this is on decisions, but it is mostly on speed. So the last bit of, again, gardening work, girls trying to compact down that sand, toes, heels together. They're very perfectionist, aren't they? And, and this is the one, so you'll see, especially with the North Cronulla Club, they'll always be the last ones down. Mm. 
Is that a tactic, do you oh, think? Most definitely it is. So you learn from the best and you become the best. And that's what they're doing. So last little bit in there because if you're down there, it's that extra 10, 15 seconds, you're thinking about what you've got to ex execute. So sometimes you just want that clear mind, but we're down to the top six. Yeah, it's great to see that the epitheater is nice and quiet when the girls go to start. So you want to make it nice and fair for everyone. But yeah, the girls are the girls are ready to go. So three North Cronulla. Morty Alex still in there, Georgia Benton, Izzy Evans from Wollongong City. And Emma Haley closest to us from the screen from Coogee up really, really strong oh, there. That oh, that is tight and one's left around. over. Oh, wow. The Metropolitan Caloundra girl has grabbed one and we've, we're have we missing. Who's missed out here? No, there's like North Drama Cronulla. of plenty. North Cronulla has missed out. We're not sure who though. Because we have three North Cronulla girls. And just wait for it. She thought she might have got it first. Izzy Evans, hand on it. Sometimes a bit of a crocodile roll is required just to get that flag out of the hand, but it's usually the first hand on the flag to one through, and yeah, that's we'll going to be enough. Again. So watch right it again. Watch the right hand edge. edge. And they're up. It's North Cronulla versus that Wollongong City. Oh, wow, that's tight, isn't it? But she's dropped at the North Cronulla girl, and Wollongong City's grabbed it. Oh, wow. And even then we had uh, Metropolitan Calounder grab a spare one too. Yep, Scarlet Hoa there from North Cronulla just with the look of disbelief to her teammate. She's going, can you believe it? I've dropped. Dropped it. Well, that's so unfortunate. But, yeah, here come the males now. They're patting down the sand. They're making sure they're very comfortable. And uh, So closest to us, Jarvis Chubb there from Maruchidor. <laughs> Cooper Bird there from Kujid Headland. Alex, oh, Jai Texeria from Alex next to him. And then it looks like we've got Chris Condolios from South Maroubra from the Grange above that. Lucas Martin. And then at the top of the screen, we've got Quinn Evans from Coffs Harbour. Just tucked on the inside it's great there. to see a Coffs Harbour cap, isn't it? And it looks like he's looking sideways because it's so weird, again, that the colours go from left to right, not front to back. Yeah, and look, you can see the height difference in the boys too, but they're ready to go. And they're away. I can see Grange at the back, Again. but he's grabbed another one. And it is the size there. So Chris Condolios there in the middle from South Maroubra has got about two and a half inches on top of Jitex area. And when it comes to the dive, length is always going to win out. Absolutely. That was really hard to watch because there was that one left over and you just want to grab it for them, don't you? So, and, yeah, incredible scenes here. And Lucas Martin lives to fight another day. Unbelievable work. So he fell on the last two, and you just watch him here, tucked at the back. He hasn't got the speed, but sometimes when you're in the back, a bit of Brad reaction. He's looking around. He's making a decision late. Look, he's realised that they're fighting for it, and he's grabbed it. Oh. And Jitex area just... great. He was boxed out from that left-hand edge from Marucci Dor and Kujin. Had to make that long dive, but, yeah, unfortunately, when you've got the uh, the big man next to you, you're going to miss out. Yeah. It's Top five. interesting. Top five. Here we go. Wollongong City. North Cronulla, Morty Alec, North Cronulla and Coogee. Emma Haley looked really strong. She was the first one up last time. Probably was about a shoulder in front of the rest of the pack as we got through that first two and a half metres. So she'd be my one, my pick here. But it's got to be perfection. Sun's now in their rise. There's a bit of wind through there. Top five. They know they're only two flags away from a medal. And there she goes again through the middle. But at the bottom of the screen, one, two and three. Well, the North Cronulla girls looking extremely strong now, aren't they? They were both on the outside then. And, uh, yeah, Kayla Pride. And unfortunately, Georgia Benton. Georgia Benton from Morty Alec. She's been eliminated. So, unfortunately, she is done for the championships. And uh, we're down to the final four in the women. Just through the middle there, she's got a lot of space there, but just that extreme pace there. So Emma what Haley from Kujin. Bargy. Well, that's what it is. I love it. So, you know, we, we talk about out of the swim cans, you know, the elbows and fists are flying around there. This is no different. No different, but you can just see it in plain daylight, can't you? <laughs> There's no hiding from the Argy Bargy in the flag pit, especially when this many people can see it. That's it. So closest to the screen, we've got Cooper Bird from Kujin, Quinn Evans there from the Club of Coffs Harbour, Granger's Lucas Martin. Marucci, oh geez, I've just had a half a brain that explosion. Uh, Jeringon cap there, the blue cap. That yep. is, that's what threw me because I didn't see the red. <laughs> so it's Mila Sice out there, Marucci on the outside left, and then Chris Condolios. Six will be made, five in about three and a half seconds, provided the boys are set nicely. 
So these boys have all won points for their team as well because they are in the top six. So, sorry, they've won team, ah, points for their club. My apologies. It's been a long day, Harold. Yep. I'm still excited, though. And when you talk about long days, these guys have gone through 40 people. So this is the best 40 flaggers in Australia. So yeah, it's we a just great achievement. And, and people don't just participate in this. You only do the flags if you can get up and go quick. And this is yeah. what we're looking at. The best in the business at the moment. Down six into five. Clean start up and away through the middle where it's at. I think Has Grange is going to be gone. No, unfortunately, there wasn't one left over for him this time. So Lucas Martin from Grange will take sixth position. He's won some points for his club. Well done, Lucas. Uh, great day out in the flag pit. But... He will be devastated that he's not uh, made it further down. But, yeah, we see the replay. He was up a little slow, unfortunately, and uh, just couldn't quite get there. Just watching the first one through there. So, Jerengong, first one to the flag there. That's Miller Sysat looking really, really strong through there. So, is he going to be one to watch there? Chris Condolios is a big, big man. Can he power his way through that last four? But now we have the last four on the screen. So, we've got Kayla Pride from North Cronulla. Katie Williams also from North Cronulla. Emma Haley from Coogee, and then Wollongong City's Izzy Evans. Four. Yeah, the, the girls will be really nervous now because they know if they can get through this one, they've got a they've got a medal. So it's a bit of pressure now, but I think flags is pressure every single time they have to turn. So it'd be interesting to see who's up first, who can get their shoulder in front, and grab one of those flags. You just see the top there, Caleb Price. She's got the, the shadows of the flags flickering in and out of her eyes. Mm. You know, that's got to be tough to block that That'd out. Be very distracting, I, I think. So it'd be interesting to see how she can handle it. But the two North Cronulla girls are next to each other. So are they going to fight each other? Is one going to cut in, cut in front? Oh, it'd be interesting to see. I can guarantee you, that Katie Williams will be trying to cut as far across right as she can to protect her teammate, Caleb Pride, next to her because they'll be wanting to get one and two and then we'll have a proper race. But Emma Haley looking really strong. So too is Evans from Wollongong City. And they're up nice and quick. And they're going to actually have to die. Oh, oh, wow. So Izzy Evans from Wollongong City has unfortunately, unfortunately been eliminated. And she will take home the chalky medal. But uh, we have two North Cronulla girls in the final now. And uh, Emma Haley from Coogee. They've just given them a free run. I honestly thought that you, you would have seen at least Emma Haley, you know, get to that right-hand edge to get underneath. But sometimes when you know you've got that extreme pace on the outside, you just minimise the risk, look at the numbers, and just secure your, your spot in the top three. And that's what she's done there. She's beeline straight for that one on the end. Yeah, and the two North Cronulla girls actually turned in together. So maybe that's why they both went for those flags. But, yeah, unfortunately... Izzy there was uh, knocked out from Wollongong City. She just couldn't get ahead of Coogee there. So, oh, yeah, look, face full of sand, unfortunately. Probably got the men here now. They're down. They're ready to go in the starters' hands. So Jarvis Chubb closest to the screen. We've got Cooper Bird from Coogee. Chris Condolios there from South Maroubra. Miller Sysat from Jerengong and then Quinn Evans. Quinn Evans looked really, really quick out there. But, yeah, the first one to it last time was Miller Sysat there from Jerengong. Second top of the screen. And they're away nice and clean. And he is, again, first again. out there again. Oh, and unfortunately, Kujin heads. Cooper Bird is sent home, unfortunately. So he will be in fifth place. So we're nearly down to the medals now for the men as well. So well done, Cooper. Miller Sysat looks like a man possessed at the moment. He's going to be tough to beat. He's, He's been the focused. first one up every single time. He hasn't even let, let up with a smile yet because we're not here to smile. We're here to win. Yeah, he's, he's really putting his head down in the middle there. Yeah, look at that turn. Wow. He's got so much speed off the mark. And look, yeah, he was definitely first to the flags. So his pivot, you see, stays nice and low, stays on that left leg as he spins around, then drives hard off the sand, bang, and then he's away. And look at that. He's already got... Oh. He's a couple of steps in front, isn't he? No He's going to be hard to beat. <laughs> no one's beating that today. No, so we're going to wait and see, Harold. I like to call it. You do, but you so never here know. we go. You never know. We've called a few today, and unfortunately they've changed. So we've got our top three here now: our two North Cronulla girls and Coogee. So Kayla Pride, Katie Williams, and Emma Haley. And look at Emma Haley. She's just that last one She's, down there. Yeah. Bit of extra mind games there. Kayla Pride, Katie Williams, Katie Williams. Sorry, both down there at the moment. Katie Williams, another amazing beach flagger from Collaroy, and uh, I think she's taking after her. 
So she is down. She is focused. She's almost got her face in the sand, doesn't she? Look at that. She's just very focused. She's not thinking about anything else. She's got a mind on those flags. Get into the zone is what it's all about, right? Yeah. See the sand, be the sand. Is that a thing? It probably should be. I think so. I'm going to make it a thing. Even though I'm the furthest person that could be commenting on uh, flags. You're, you're a legend. You can say whatever you want. So here we go. Kayla Pride, Katie Williams, Emma Haley in the starter's hands. Oh, wow. It's More going to be one Gallagher's. and two. Wow. And look how ecstatic they are. But well done to Emma Haley from Coogee. She's taking home a bronze medal in her suitcase back to Coogee. But the North Cronulla girls deserve it. They've been outstanding this afternoon and that is tough like emma haley has been a picture of perfection here in the in the flag pit every single turn has been spot on she's been the first one up getting her shoulder the first one on that inside or outside wherever it needed to be and just on that one they're not good enough but she's still a bronze medalist yeah which is just outstanding i mean they would have worked so hard for this and as we can see here this is the replay we'll see what we can see if we can see around our amazing photographers but, uh, yeah, the North Cronulla girls were next to each other again. Oh, but just Locked got... Out. Yeah, that's hard to beat, isn't it? Wow, great tactics. So North Cronulla one and two, but who will it be? We're down to the top four. Milosaisat from Gerringong, Chris Condolios from South Maruba, Jarvis Chubb from Maruchidor, and Quinn Evans from Coffs Harbour. Four into three. It's nearly the medals. Nearly the medals. Miller Sysat has been perfect. Chris Condolios looked pretty good there as well. Quinn Evans, really fast. If we're looking on form, Jarvis Chubb may be the next one out, but he's going to have to pull out something here if he wants to get on that dice. He'll really have to spin off that foot, turn quickly, get that speed up and running. They've got such fast twitch fibres, these boys. And they're in the starter's hands. And they're away. And look at that. Oh, on the inside. And yep, called it. Look at that. The young chap, Quinn Evans, sneaking underneath. Jarvis Chubb there from Marucci Door. Salutes the crowd. And you've just taken four, three points back to the club in the overall point score, which will help. Unfortunately, he's not taking home a home medal, but he is uh, contributing to the points for Marucci Door. So that's great to see. We've got our final three. Those boys will be taking home a medal. So the top yeah, three is good. Unfortunately, he just got stuck. But just look, the Behind shoulders South Maroubra. Chris so. Condolius, look at the size of his shoulders. Of course, you're not going to be able to get around that. That's absolutely ginormous. And now we're down to our uh, gold and silver <laughs> in the female. But we've got another replay here of the males. Yeah, Miller Sysat, that is absolutely unreal. That is a pleasure to watch. And looking forward to the next round. But here we have it. My favourite Spice Girls song, When Two Become One. Kayla <laughs> Pride, Katie Williams, North Cronulla. Maximum points will be going back to the club, but who will be victorious? And we haven't seen too many North Cronulla caps in the water events, but I mean, look at the showing here. But again, we talk about the strength of the club. You go to where the best coaches are, you go to where the best support is, and this is where it currently is in New South Wales for the flaggers. It's with the Rampoldies, and now it's with the gold medal on offer. Two into one, Pride versus Williams, and they're up nice and clean. Shoulder to oh, shoulder, shoulder Rudas. Oh, my goodness. Oh, <laughs> Oh no, we might have an injury here, unfortunately, for our silver medalist. Oh, but we do have a winner here. We've got the officials right in there making sure she's okay. But yeah, flags is absolutely brutal. We've seen so many unfortunate injuries in the flag pit over the years. But um, yeah, this is hard to watch, isn't it, Harold? It is hard to watch, but when you speak to the beaches, you know what their response is? It's under your collarbone. Oh. It's tough, but watch this. Left and right, Pride and Williams. So Kayla Pride, the one that misses out there and a victorious is Katie Williams. And you just see that shoulder there straight over the top. Kayla Pride having that last little reach. And the first thing that Katie Williams does is turn around because she knows that wasn't good. Yeah, she, she knew straight away, didn't she? And the officials were right in there to make sure that they can do and uh, do everything and help her out. But, we, yeah, we're going to watch it again. God, it was tight though, wasn't it? Look at that. You've Both reaching for that gold medal flag. And just on the outside there, if it was uh, Katie Williams, you can see she's tried to box out with that right shoulder and then reached long with that left arm. 
She's up. She's okay. So it might be a bit of pride. It might be a bit of hurt. But we'll find out. She's over with the medical team. No, Folks are happy. Coaches around. are happy. Oh, but she is upset, obviously. It's her teammate. She, you don't want to see your teammate hurt. So hopefully she can um, channel that and be excited because she is the Australian gold medalist. But, uh, yeah, very nice of her to um, show that sportsmanship. So, Katie Williams, you are our gold medal winner for the under-14 female beach flags. Kayla Pride, North Cronulla, was in second. And Emma Haley, Coogee, third place. So congratulations, girls. Oh, gosh, that straight is hard on the to forearm, watch, isn't straight it? Straight on the elbow, the really, elbow. really tough. Yeah, so we now have our gold medal matchup for the men. Unless we're missing one, because I feel like we are down to three. Yeah, oh, here he is. Jeez. <laughs> I tell you what, the family Condolios view at home, they're going, what is going on, guys? But here we have it. Closest to the screen, left-hand edge, we've got Miller Sysat from Gerringong. Middle of the screen, Chris Quinn Evans from Coffs Harbour and Chris Condilios from South Maruba, your top three. I think it's going to go be hard to go past South Maruba here. Christopher's looking really good. You can see he does have the height as well. Yeah, Quinn's going to have some work to do in the middle because Miller Sysat has been the fastest all day. So three in the two, but the medals are on. Start his hands. And we're away. And inside, straight away, you can just see the size. Oh, oh, just the size difference, isn't it? Getting that shoulder in front. Quinn Evans, second best hair on the beach. That's a Look great at, mullet, isn't it? I'm hoping it's not, but it's just hair out the back. It probably is. <laughs> but we've got Miller Sysat from Gerringong and Chris Condilios from South Maroubra are going to be... Going fighting for it that out gold. very, very shortly. This is going to be a great matchup too. They've both been really consistent in their turns and in their speed, but oh, face full of sand there too. Yeah, even just watching that replay, Miller size that gets up so quick. He stays so low. Look, his shoulders are beneath everyone else's, and as soon as you're beneath him, you can get that flag early. And he's already a, a full body length in front of Chris. He's going to be Chris hard Condilios, to beat. and he's going to have to pull something out of the final. So we're done with the under 14 ladies. We've got one more round for the men. The amphitheater is absolutely amped. It is. It's packed. Look at it. So good. That's what we want to see. So we're down to the final two. Woof. And these officials have been doing this all day. So huge credit to them. Thank you to all of our officials who have been incredible over the youth championships. It doesn't happen without you guys. You're all volunteers, volunteering their time to be over here, helping out the kids, helping out the masters and the open competitors as well. It is amazing to be a part of. And so thank you to all of our officials, all of our IRB drivers, water safety, it's incredible to be a part of. Takes a village, right? It or does. a nation. Probably takes a nation because that's where we're at. But here we are, ladies and gentlemen. Final two for the under 14s flags. Closest to the screen, Chris Condilios from South Maroubra. Miller Sysat from Gerringong in the blue and red. This is on Georgia. One gold medal up for grabs. Miller Sysat has been in the driver's seat the whole time. Can he back that up? Last round. And they're away. Nice and quick. And look at that. that. Oh, wow. That is dominant, isn't it? Wow. Congratulations, Miller, from Gerringong. You are taking home a gold medal. And Christopher, you'll be taking home a silver. Well done, boys. That was fast. Miller Sysat, you've got to be kidding me. That was ridiculous. So that was domination from start to finish. He was always had that body length and a half over everyone else and he maintained that through into the final. Look at that. Bang! He's already gone. So Look at those arms driving him through as well. Really great to watch. He's one to watch in the future. Maybe a Simon Harris on our hands. Oh, and how many has that guy won? Too many. Can you ever win too many, George? Mm, no. <laughs> <laughs> but I think, yeah, we're seeing some great things for flagging in the future. So... Yeah, we're going to move on to our other age groups now, our top eight. We'll see what we've got coming up. But they're just going to flatten down that that uh, that flag pit. And we will get passed down to Jen in a second when we've got some interviews. But, um, yeah, look at them. They're raking it out, making sure it's nice and flat and even for all our competitors in our next few events. I'll tell you what, G, I'm doing some research. I've gone to the Sports Almanac, uh, a.k.a. Kurt Hansen, to find out when the last... Gerringong gold medal was, whether it be water, beach or something, anywhere. 
at a national level and yeah we can't find anything so but Jan find out unbelievable just yeah Miller Sysat was so so strong dominant from start to finish and he's taking home a gold medal to Jerengong and we're not too sure how many they've won let us know Oh, fantastic. Harold, I am here with our Miller. Miller, what an amazing race. You're the only competitor from your club here. You have done them proud today. Yeah, it's amazing. I love competing for Jerengong and it was a great race and I'm happy to get the job done. Well, you got the job done so many races today. How were the legs feeling? Oh, I was feeling a little bit sore, but I managed to back it up and I'm happy with my performance. Well, as the sole representative of Jerengong today, who do we need to say a big thank you to back at home? I want to thank, I want to say thank you to everyone who's supporting me from Jerengong. I want to thank you, uh, my parents for taking me up here. It's been great and I couldn't have done it without them and I'd like to thank all my coaches. Interview of the day right there. You've nailed it, Miller. Congratulations. Go and celebrate. Fantastic work. Thank you. Oh, Jen, I would have loved to have found out have we ever had a gold medal from Jerengong before. That was insane. And what a lovely, well-spoken young man. First thing he thanks, first people he thanks, mum and dad. They're usually the ones that have forgotten. <laughs> Got to take care of the sponsors. <laughs> you do. And that's what he said. He goes, I'd just like to thank mum and dad for bringing me all the way here because we are so far away. Jerengong's a long way away from Sydney, let alone being over here in Perth. Unbelievable. But we're going to throw down to Jen shortly to find out about the North Cronulla Flags program and what makes them so good. Jen, it's all yours, mate. Oh, that is the question that we all want to know. Caitlin, congratulations on your huge gold medal. Three North Cronulla in the final. What a team. Yeah, yeah. It's been on and off as per usual, but it's awesome. Now, you came through when it counts. We want to know what got you the gold medal today because it was such tight competition. Yeah, it was. Definitely all the preparations up until this day. Just from last Aussies, I've been... Just aiming for it. Well, she aimed for it. She got it. Big points for you and the club. North Cronulla, I think this is just the start of some pretty amazing races at the Australian Championships. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> Alrighty, any special thanks back at North Cronulla? It's a special club. Yeah, Damo, Tom, Ray and my sprint coach, Greg, everyone. Nailed it. Fantastic. Go and celebrate your Australian Championship and your big gold medal. Big waves down the camera to North Cronulla. Thank you. That was perfect. Thank you so much. Janet was perfect, and she was also perfect on the beach. Unbelievable. 60 competitors down to one, and there is our gold medalist. The Chargers, what a reputation they have on the sand, especially probably in the last, what, five to ten years. Um, they're always thereabouts in all the age groups, aren't they? They've got a huge program there, and uh, very, very impressive to keep that great momentum and, and gold medal winning ways rolling.